Yo, what's going on guys, Dee's Rotation here, back with another video, and for this video, we are going to be going over the best Shopify bot out on the market right now, and if you guys know what Shopify websites are, um, to give you guys a few examples, there's Kith, Packer Shoes, Livestock, Nice Kicks, stuff like that, and basically Shopify is a website where you can make your own website, and um, it's just a popular platform for making websites and selling stuff that's what it's meant for and a lot of these sites use it just because it's like really easy and stuff this bot also offers some sites that are non shopify including supreme um i think they have adidas but it's not that good and so to start out right when you get the bot and you open it up you're going to want to log into your email so once you guys have logged into your email it's going to prompt you to this screen it's going to ask you to just pick a random size, add it to cart, and view cart and check out. And then it says you can close this window. So there happens to be an update. They do push out updates very often, and you always want to get the um, you always want the bot to be on the newest version because that's basically how it works. Okay, so once you update it, it's going to ask you to of course log in again. Okay, I just realized I forgot to tell you guys the whole point of this. So doing this and adding something to cart and then view cart and check out, log in your Gmail, all that stuff. The reason that you're actually doing this is you're going to in your, increase your chances of getting a one-click captcha. And in about 20 seconds or so, you're going to actually see what a one-click captcha is just to clear things up. So here is TaskBot. Um, I'm sure it's a little bit overwhelming. There's quite a few stuff going on, but I can go over everything in this video. Uh, the Capture Bank, this is only for Adidas and SNS, but you really don't need this. I don't even recommend running Adidas. I'm not sure how well SNS is, but basically what this is is you can solve CAPTCHAs, and that was a one click by the way. And you can store them, and I think you can store them and they last about two minutes per CAPTCHA. And what this does is if a task needs a CAPTCHA, it'll just submit it right away, instead of you having to manually solve it. They do have a manual solver, which... Um, it's off the screen, but it's up top, and this is what it looks like. And basically, when you need a CAPTCHA, it'll pop up, you solve it, and then you can submit it right down here. Okay, so now we're going to teach you guys how to add a task. But before we do that, we're going to have to set up our own billing profile. Um, so you can just make it like a test profile. I actually already have one. Just fill out your information, set it up like that. It's super simple, and then click Save when you're done and then we pick which billing profile you're gonna be using. So we're gonna use speed test. All right guys, it took a long time to find a test product. But this is what we're gonna be using. Here it is right here, and they have all sizes in stock. So let's just run for a large. And um, the category, so there it is. And then once you guys have everything set up, you can do auto captcha, but it's really slow. I don't, I would not suggest doing it. Just click save and as you guys can see here this is it so this is the inventory tab you can just type in the an adidas style code and check how much inventory there is i don't use it i don't even know if it works but let's just test out this task so i would suggest opening up your captcha solver before you even start and then there's a few buttons here. Let's just go over them real quick. Start task. The only way to use start task is by clicking on a task and then clicking on start task. It'll start just that task. Start all will start all the tasks that you've set up. Stop task is just like start task. You have to click on it and you can stop them individually. Stop and then stop all of course stops all the tasks. Same with delete task. You can delete an individual or you can just delete all. Pretty straightforward, but yeah, let's get into this. So you're gonna wanna hit start all, just to start them. And as you guys can see, it's asking you for a CAPTCHA. And this is what it'll look like. We got a one click because we signed into our Google account. When you click submit CAPTCHA, it enters all the information. And then you even get a little notification here. So that is basically how the bot works. It's super simple to use. Like I said, guys, link in the description. I think it's sold out right now. The bot's actually reselling. It's kind of crazy. If 
if you guys want to purchase this go to bot broker on twitter i will also link his twitter in the description and um aio macbot if you guys want to sponsor this video or give me a promo code or something shoot me an email my email is on my about page on my youtube channel um it's been a deeds rotation please leave a like on this video and subscribe peace